Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you another hair DIY containing only one ingredient. Now, you only need to use this one ingredient once a week and I promise you your hair will never stop growing because it's extremely moisturizing for the hair, guys. So it will stop your hair from breaking and in turn, you will definitely get to see lymph. Also, it helps to repair damaged hair and essentially revive your hair. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so don't miss out on any useful information now before we dive into it guys thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber i really love and appreciate your support and if you're new here please consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video so we are going to need oats this is pretty much the only ingredient you're going to need or the main ingredient you're going to need for this recipe um, so oats are extremely beneficial for hair guys because it helps to prevent hair fall and also improves hair growth it prevents split ends it helps treat dandruff it helps to soothe an itchy scalp you know some of you guys have messaged me previously asking how to manage dry itchy scalp like i tell you use oats regularly in your regimen and use it in this way and i promise you that you will definitely notice a change on how your hair feels how more manageable your hair is and also how healthy your scalp is in general and we all know the importance of a healthy scalp that's essentially where your hair grows out from so it's very very important that you maintain that nice and healthy if you are trying to grow healthy strong hair so i used about a bowl of oats here guys i'm using jumbo oats that i have in my house so feel free to use any oats that you can lay your hands on now i just popped that in a pot and just added some water to it and put it on fire so i'm going to cook this for a little while until it's nice and soft now you want to be present and be checking this because it will eventually burn if you're not there to check it it doesn't take too long to get done um so you want to end up with a nice sort of um mushy sort of consistency when you see, you've seen that the oats have actually like properly cooked and it's really um sort of soft then you're pretty much ready to take it off the fire now i had to add water continuously just so you can see here um, just so that you can get cooked properly. So this is what I ended up with with guys You can see it's very it's very mushy now. This is not really how I like my oats I mean if I was to eat this I wouldn't cook it this way um, I like mine crunchy, but for this particular dip conditioner we're going to make you need to cook it well okay so once you take it off the fire allow it to rest for a little bit so it can cool down and after that's done you can see it looks much thicker in consistency we don't worry about it this is exactly how we want it to look um, so I'm just transferring it here to a bowl and then I'm gonna go ahead and essentially um, add some water to this and blend now I will be using a hand blender uh, for this but feel free to use any other blender of your choice it could be like your normal blender or Nutribullet or anything really so go ahead and blend it until you end up with a nice smooth consistency now after that's all blended i'm gonna go ahead and strain this now it's very important that you don't skip this step because if you do you are going to have bits of oats left in your hair so it's quite important that you take your time and you strain now it may seem like i used a lot of oats initially um, but you will later on find out why i had to use that quantity because there's quite a bit of pulp that's left behind um, after this you know oats are very high in fiber um, so it's Essentially, although it looked like a lot, I didn't actually have so much of the um, conditioner from this, if that makes sense. So, yeah, if you haven't got as much hair, then you don't need to use as much. Uh, but I was looking for something that was going to be enough for my entire hair. So, I'm just using a recap here to strain mine, but feel free to use any other thing that you've got and just go ahead and strain it um, gently. It can take a little bit of time to get through it. 
but trust me it's definitely worth the process because you know this thing is extremely amazing for our hair like i just love 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 how it felt when i applied it and also what my hair felt like afterwards my hair was so much more manageable less tangos it was yeah, literally the best thing ever so um yeah so it's definitely worth the wait so just take your time and and strain it so this is what the pulp of, of this looks like um so i'm gonna go ahead and just throw it away um but if you think you may have other uses for this definitely go ahead and keep it guys um so this is what it looks like look at that creamy goodness right it looks so so amazing already but at this point we're not quite done yet um i'm gonna go ahead and add some extra stuff to it so again it's not compulsory guys if you haven't got this it's fine you can use it just as it is like that on its own but i just wanted to add a bit of oil to this just to make it a bit more sort of um, smooth in, in in texture so i'm adding olive oil and avocado oil and then i also went in here with a bit of honey now honey is a natural humectant so it helps to draw moisture from the atmosphere into your hair so absolutely amazing to have as uh, i mean in your conditioner um so i added about two tablespoons of that uh, but again guys please alter these quantities based on how much of this you're making now i know some of you guys will probably ask whether you can store this um i would say it's probably not worth storing to be honest because it does become sort of um it, you know it loses his creaminess after you sat around for a little bit it will still be creamy but it'll become a bit more watery um so I haven't I've never stored this before so I've just made and used straight away and I'll suggest that you do the same or if you want to try and store it let me know how you get on with it so I'm just going ahead here and just mixing everything together until it's nice and combined like I just love how creamy that looks like literally it looks so so good and our hair definitely definitely is going to enjoy this where well, my hair did um so i'm just adding a bit of water to it here just like you saw just so i can have a sort of you know nicer consistency not too thick and not too too runny um so but you can add aloe vera juice instead of water if you have it it works absolutely amazing as well in this recipe i was just too lazy to make aloe vera juice and this is what it looks like after um we've all combined it you can see it looks very nice and creamy um yeah it's, it's definitely one of my best conditioners i just love love this seriously i just loved how my hair felt afterwards and how manageable my hair was in my head literally i don't know it never felt so soft like that it's literally like the best thing and i do hope that you do try this out guys and if you do let me know what your results are i'm sure you will love it as well um now if you made it to this point of the video guys and you haven't liked it yet please go ahead and like the video if you're not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe as well and hit your notification bell so you know next time i post a new video now in this part of the video guys i'm just showing you how i'm applying this to my hair so i'm starting here on washed hair not conditioned so basically just shampooed and i'm just using this as like a deep conditioning or moisturizing sort of uh, routine so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this throughout my hair uh, and then leave it on for a few hours and then i'm going to go ahead and rinse it off um so now you can see here i'm applying it on dry hair um and that's the way that i would suggest that you apply it guys because this is extremely moisturizing so you don't need to you sort of spray your hair with water first before you use this you can go ahead and apply it immediately on dry hair and the result is definitely instant so essentially as you're applying it you can already feel how soft your hair is and also how much slip this gives your hair i think it will work absolutely amazing as well as a detangler um, i've never tried it as a detangler but i probably will try it perhaps in the future but i just loved how moisturized my hair felt so this is absolutely amazing at repairing damaged hair dry flaky hair this is definitely the one that you want to add to your regimen guys trust me it's literally so so good and even after you rinse this off your hair your hair still retains moisture for a long period of time i i thought it was probably more moisturizing than um, aloe vera after you know I've, I've rinsed this off so definitely 
definitely worth adding to your regimen so I'm just showing you guys here how my curls were popping I was literally just amazed at the moisture going from dry hair to sort of instantly moisturized hair is literally like the best thing ever it felt like you know it felt like heaven it was literally so good so so good on the hair um, so and I do hope that you do give this a go guys um, so yeah so basically that's all I'm doing here I'm just working the product through my entire hair now I'm not going to show you how I apply it throughout the, the rest of my hair because otherwise this video would be really long I do try to keep the video sort of you know short 10 minutes but sometimes it goes over 10 minutes um, so I don't really want to like you know push it too long so you won't get to see me applying it throughout my hair so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of camera and then I'll come back once um, I have completely finished applying it okay guys so at this point I have finished applying the conditioner to my hair and this is what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and put a plastic bag on my hair and just allow it to sit for a little bit I left it for about an hour or two um, but feel free to leave it longer if you want to guys but one thing to bear in mind is your um, what's it called whatever you use to keep the product in has to be nice and tight because it does leak quite a lot um, so I just went ahead and rinsed it off and this is what my hair looks like like literally it felt so so good really moisturized my hair was nice and dark and shiny and clean all of that goodness i was literally so happy so this is it from me today guys i hope that you've enjoyed today's video and if it did please give it a thumbs up it's very important also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and share with that friend that family member you believe could benefit from today's video and yeah i really really appreciate it and then i will catch you in my next video which will be very very soon so thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye bye